Hi, welcome to Jags Tech World. Today we're going to talk about moving Windows password. What I'm going to be using is I have a Windows 7 machine and I'm going to be using Kali Linux to password. I'm going to have links in the description to where to download Kali Linux. Then I'll have a link of a program if you don't know how to burn a CD image to a flash drive. I'll leave some tools in the description for you there. And what you're going to do is insert the CD or your flash drive that you put the image on. But once that's booted, you should come up to a screen that looks like this. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a terminal. We should have it over here. Okay, first what we want to do is we want to do fdisk minus L. This will show us all the drives. And what we should see here is with the largest space. <clears throat> This will be your Windows partition where all of your information is saved. So what we want to do, we want to out FSDA2. We're just going to throw it into called MNT. Now we want to move to that directory. Out. And then we're going to go into where the passwords are saved. If you hit the tab key, it'll help you move forward. So you don't have to type everything. Once you get to mount Windows System 32 config, hit enter. Now what we want to do is use a command CHNTPW minus L and type SAM. This will give you all the users that are on your Windows. And on this computer, we have the user owner. So what we did here, put in the chntpw space minus u space username, you want to change the password to, space sam. And SAM is the file that holds all the information for the user password and everything. Then it comes up with this information. So right here, if we push in one, blank out the password for it. all you have to do. Now, if I go U, it'll tell us, hey, you made changes. Do you want to save it? I'm going to put a W for yes. And it wrote it back to the Windows file. Now, if we do, that user should have password. And it logged right into the user. Didn't even ask for a password. But that's the easiest way uh, of removing a password from a Windows user. Thank you for watching. If you have any uh, requests, uh, please let me know.